Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 4. Um, on Immortal. Let's see. Okay, I can get quite a bit from Civil Service potentially. And I think I'll take the opportunity to do that. So, uh, I, in the last segment, you saw me beg for 100 gold. All I did was increase my slider to get CS next turn. I'll also trade into Feudalism. That will make me, if I can get enough longbows out, especially since I'm protective, I'd, I'm pretty, I'd be pretty good against wars until really they get rifles or cuirassers or something. Uh, longbows and force are really destructive. Defensively, that is. And I'm just checking, you know, likely war enemies. The Confucian block is probably going to ultimately wind up being my allies, but for the moment I'm paying lip service to the Dutch because, you know, they're next to me. Some anger here. So we're off next turn. Even so, I, I think I'll add an extra garrison troop there. These monarchy is a springboard to a better economy, working more tiles. Okay. See, that's a notable hike. I'm at 166 peakers a turn now. That's not going to set records, but at the same time, that's pretty solid for uh, 580 AD. For even if, I, I don't know, some of the best players probably wouldn't consider that great. But, you know, y it can win you games on Immortal, so it's not terrible. And one more city to settle. Next, if I had access to forges. Oh yeah, speaking of that, it's time to trade civilization, uh, civil service around a little bit. Let's start down here. Actually, can I get feudalism? Yes. Okay. In that case, I'm headed for education for the beaker multiplier. Washington's the score leader. Let's see if I can trade with someone else first. Although, again, the great lighthouse guy here is really the... He's probably going to be the true problem. She's the worst enemy, don't trade with her. He's not a worst enemy. Yeah, I'll open borders with you now. Now that you can't settle in my area anymore. Punk. I don't really feel any aesthetics line, hey man. I cut in my trade cap with those really early tech trades, so I'm not gonna... I'm only gonna trade for things I actually need. And it looks like I can pick up machinery too. Although, if you, if, beware viewers, if you pick up machinery, um, you can't bulb liberalism directly then. You need to not have researched machinery, because otherwise you'll bold printing press rather than liberalism. Now, I'm okay with doing that. that that's no problem. Because I don't really intend to bold much uh, in this go-around, apparently. So I'm just going to sink a turn of, into machinery here. And then I can probably trade civil service to get it. Now, if I were playing on epic or slower, I could then uh, go with the Maceman War. Well, a combination of maces and catapults or tech engineering right away and go uh, maces, traps. And Willem usually doesn't have a lot of castles, so that would screw him over pretty good. Especially because he's down there in power. But I don't know if I want to do that. If I get paper, I'll have a, I'll be the only one who has it. Which means I'll have a 
good run on education and liberalism as well. Although uh, the Chinese have what's it? They they have philosophy already, which is the other lib prereq. Even so, that's fine. Yeah, normally I'd be a lot more worried about declarations, but as long as they have a worse enemy, and yeah, see, there's there's the trade cap in practice. We fear you're becoming too advanced. That means I've traded for too many technologies. Um, friendly bypasses that, so if he becomes friendly with me, pleased isn't good enough, but if they're friendly, you get unlimited trading. There's no cap. But I don't have that. So, I'm going to have to deal with the trade cap. Hi, that's right. Settle, send your settler back home. I don't even know if that galley is a settler in it, but I don't want to mess around. No. Forge will actually count for happiness because I have gems as well and gold from Hattie. So it'll be worth plus two. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, let's see. Overflow into the market. Really haven't used protective trade a whole lot, but that's good. If you don't need the uh, defensive bonus, that's all the better. It can save you if you get it caught in a situation of desperation. Otherwise, uh, you can use protective aggressively soon enough. Uh, once you get the gunpowder units, it, it becomes a lot better for offensive warfare. Okay, Egypt's really falling back. Um, usually Willem's a really good techer, but I I really effectively bossed him out of a lot of land. So he's well actually no, he is a good he's a good amount of cities. So I take that back. But I still have enough land that I can compete with him. I'm not sure yet if I want to use the draft to do it or if, if I want to go the rush by route. Um I use Rush by a lot. It's a little less orthodox, especially if you don't have Kremlin to make it more efficient. But it can be really strong. Just because you can prepare military so quickly. Yeah, there's some capturing going on. Wait. Go to Basra. No wars yet, not a single war in the entire world. That's contributing to some of the uh, AI's tech base. Money! Yeah, you can sell uh, resources for gold. On some maps, that's accounted for like half of my income. It, it, can, be a, it can be a huge part of your take. I've seen some people get it to the point where they're they're making more off of their resources than anything else by selling them to computers. Uh, usually that happens if you're like playing Rome and you just go on a massive conquest spree and you're in danger of strike. But oh no, you have the uh, you have enough resources you can sell them, especially if there's a lot of computers so you can divide it. 
Alright, looks like I really, really poorly farmed my great people. So, they're going to be non-factor. Hmm. In this case, I can probably trade paper for optics. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can trade paper for optics and then use optics as a trade piece. So I'm going to take a turn of research into optics first and then head back to education. And it uh, looks like I'm going to have to showcase that in the next segment though, because I'm out of time. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Civilization 4.